let's talk about VLOOKUPs here for a minute. So say you have two lists um, that have varying degrees of information, and there's not really a good way to merge those two lists. Uh, in this case, I've got a list that has serial number, item, year, and notes, all of that random, and then another list on this second sheet that has a buyer on it. And say you have access to this, uh, and you want to put those two things together, but they are not usually as uh, as um, in order as these are. In fact, I'm going to sort this quickly. So I've got two lists that are way too long to go through and find the information I need. I'm going to use a formula to find the buyer on this page. That formula is going to be a VLOOKUP. Uh, the format of that looks something like this, equals VLOOKUP. And then it's going to give you these options if you stay long enough to see them. Uh, the way that this works, lookup value, table array, column index number, and range lookup. What that means is lookup value, what you're looking for, table array, where you're looking for it, column index number, what to return once you've found it, and I'll explain what that means here in a second, and range lookup. What range lookup is, is it, um, it determines should this be an exact match or... A, an approximate match. In my experience, I've never had a use for an, an approximate match. Uh, your mileage may vary, but for me, we're going. I, I have always used false. Uh, you would either use true for an approximate match or false for an exact match. I don't know why it's that way, but it is. So, lookup value. I want to find. Um, let me see. I need a unique value in this list. Now, luckily for me, I have three unique values uh, that I know are going to be on that entire list for every single line here. Uh, let's use the serial number, because that's a, a, a number that's usually going to be unique for anything you're looking up. So uh, this is the lookup value, what I'm looking for. We'll use that. Uh, followed by the table array, this is where I'm looking for it. Now what you can do in order to select the other, uh, the other range is uh, leave this open and click on your next tab. Or if it happens to be on the same sheet, I, that doesn't usually... It doesn't usually work that way, but if it happens to be, you just click a range. Uh, but I'm just going to click on this tab. You can see that my formula bar has uh, updated a little bit, and I've got sheet 2 written here with an exclamation point. That's how Excel will return, return that, <laughs> refer to, a, uh, to another uh, uh, worksheet. So I'm already here, and I want to... Uh, I'm just going to select this entire range. Now, it's worth pointing out while I'm doing this that... Um, whatever you're looking for will have to be the first item on the left of the of the range that you're looking for. Uh, if, for instance, serial number in this case was in the E column for some reason, none of this would work. Uh, you'd be able to find that the number was there, but you wouldn't be able to go back and pull the information that you want. Uh, the, the formatting of the uh, of how the other spreadsheet or how both spreadsheets are put together matters a lot. I'll explain that a little bit more here in a sec. So I've got my range, and I want to uh, put in the column index number. So I want to find the buyer in this case. The way column index number works, it's going to be just a number from 1 to infinity uh, that is counted from where you've started, to start at the beginning of the range, uh, and going to the right to find the information you want. You'll have to, to physically count it. So I'm looking for a, uh, for a serial number in column A, and I want to find the buyer in column D. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's going to pull up that information if it finds it uh, by doing that. Then I put in false. Remember, that's going to be making sure that we have an exact match. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. Now I can see that the dog was bought by Nancy. And if I click over here to verify, dog Nancy. That works. So using that, uh, that serial number. So, here's some common problems you're going to find by doing this. Now, I can actually just take this and drag it all the way down, and it's going to use each of those, uh, those serial numbers to help out. But you can see that I've got some NAs listed here, and I'm not sure why. So, what am I doing? I'm looking for 4, and I'm looking for it in this spreadsheet. So, I, I see that it's there. It's uh, in, the, in the 2 column. Why would that be affected by this? Well, uh, looking at just the way I've written this, you can see that the uh, the lookup uh, or the range, the table array here, is uh, incrementing each time that I go to a new 
uh, a new cell. I don't want it to do that necessarily. Uh, one thing you can do to fix this problem is if I were to go and uh, I'm going to just back up here a little bit. So looking at the syntax of this, I'm just going to erase that range and I'm going to do it a slightly different way. Uh, I'm still going to this sheet, but instead of selecting the range uh, just uh, by uh, just manually by selecting the entire range and, and dragging my mouse, I'm going to uh, click on the A header, hold down shift and click the D header. And this doing it that way, I can drag this all the way down, and I'm not going to have to worry about this incrementing because it's it's a uh, an, it's an explicit value. Another way you can do that is if you were to take that same uh, range that I had before and put a dollar sign in front of everything I want to stay exactly the same. This is another way of making your values explicit. So I hit that, and it should work. And I will uh, drag that all the way down. Everything works just fine. And you can see that as I scroll through, nothing is incrementing except for the lookup value, which is what I want. Uh, I prefer to do it by selecting the headers myself, but, you know, it's, uh, it's up to you. Uh, one other problem that, uh, it, really a limitation that VLOOKUP has, is this, the column index number. Um, it's really clunky to, to have to go one by one to find uh, the the value you're looking for and that is why you have to have your unique value your lookup value on the far left if this again was on somewhere over here you can't do a negative number it will not allow you to do that uh, so always make sure that both of your uh, spreadsheets are formatted in such a way that you can find that it doesn't make so much of a difference for the first one on this but uh, from what I've done in the past a lot of times you'll end up doing a VLOOKUP on one spreadsheet to a second one and then from the second one to the first one uh, to, to make sure everything matches um, that's pretty much it usually these lists are going to be a lot longer otherwise there's not really much of a point in doing a VLOOKUP. You can just kind of go back and forth and see it yourself. Um, these don't update super well if, you, if you've if you got, um, if you're adding information. Uh, it can mess up the range, and you'll pretty much have to redo the, the, the VLOOKUP formula. Uh, one other problem that I've run into an embarrassing amount of times, honestly, is that you'll go to select a range like I've done, and there might be a, uh, a hidden column. And you go to count one, two, three, and you're wrong. It'll actually pull up the year. It'll be uh, information that you weren't looking for, and if you weren't being careful, you wouldn't have known it was there. So uh, make sure that you really look at your your headers to uh, to find that number you need. Uh, worst case scenario, uh, go in and increment the number a couple of times manually to get the information you want. Um, it's annoying, but it works. So back on the subject of. Uh, the range lookup here, the uh, exact match versus the approximate match. Um, it it makes everything matter in terms of, you know, I'm looking up this this one digit. That's fine, but if I had a uh, a bunch of digits that maybe had some spaces on the end on one on one spreadsheet, but not on the other, it's going to come back as an NA. As a, it, it's it's not going to find it. So you really have to make sure everything is formatted exactly the same way. I've also had issues with uh, the information being in a different uh, uh, value type. So maybe one thing's general, but another is a number. It matters. It will not understand what you're looking for. Um, numbers are pretty easy. You can go in, maybe add a new column, and to make sure that uh, everything is the same, just put, well, I'll, I'll show you here, we'll insert a new column. By the way, doing that would break a, uh, a VLOOKUP. It does not like it when you add new tabs. There's another option for that, by the way, called Index Match. It's worth looking into. I had a friend hook me up to it. Uh, if you add a, uh, a column like that, it's fine. It, it knows how to deal with it. It's maybe slightly more involved. Um, your mileage may vary, again. So, But anyway, uh, to coerce something, maybe this is like, you know, some random number, and in this case, uh, it's text or something like that. Um, you'll find that this won't work if I was to drag up this. Uh, whoops, come on now. If I was to drag this up, it's going to find nothing because there, there's not going to be a 9874. Uh, so I want to coerce this to a number for some reason. Uh, I'll change this type to number, and then uh, I'll put a formula here, a very simple one, equals 
this times one. And then it changes it to a number. Uh, again, that number isn't there, so we're not gonna pull up anything this time, but uh, that is one way you could do it. Also, this isn't pointing at the B column right now. I'm gonna change this back to one for now. Uh, it is text, funny enough, so it isn't going to work. If I change it to general, it still doesn't work. So it actually would need some coercion for that to uh, for that to go back to the way it was. If I drag this up, it should be fine. Like that. Okay. Um, as far as spaces go, uh, there's a secondary formula that I used to use a lot uh, where you would just uh, remove any uh, additional spaces. But there are ways to get around the problems that you're going to find with the lookups. Uh, it takes a lot of troubleshooting. They're not fun to do. Uh, the syntax is pretty confusing, but as long as you just remember that it is what you're looking for, where you're looking for it, what to return once you found it, and false. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment, and I'll, uh, I'll help out as much as I can. Thanks.